Hi, I'm Shane Sharkey, and I'm here to give you another tip on rhythm and polyrhythms and how that ties into time signature. So our last time signature lesson, uh, I went through and explained this in detail. I'm going to go through it a little bit more quickly this time, but it'll be the same idea. In uh, every piece of music, at the very beginning, we have a, a symbol with two numbers. And the, those two numbers tell us some important inf information. The top number tells us how many beats there are per measure throughout the music, and the bottom number tells us which type of note equals one beat. We're not going to worry about the bottom number for this lesson. We're just going to be looking at the top number, which indicates how many beats there are per measure. So sometimes there'll be two beats per measure, one, two, one, two, one, two. Sometimes there'll be three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three different feel for sure, and then the most common time signature is 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, most of the time, we deal with these time signatures independent of one another. For this exercise, what I'd like to do is see if we can clap three beats or keep track of three beats in the exact same amount of time that we keep track of four beats. This would be called a polyrhythm. So two rhythms at the same time that are not the same. So I'm going to give you an example of what that sounds like, and then I'm going to break it down and give you the secret code so it makes it a lot easier for you. So here we have two different congas, and this one sound a little deeper, so hopefully it'll be easier for you to hear the different uh, beats that I'm doing. We're going to do three against four. So again, there'll be three beats with one hand in the exact same amount of time as four beats with the other. So it's... four and on this one I'm doing three. Check it out one more time. One, two, three. I can't count that one and do it at the same time. My brain doesn't work that well. <laughs> but the secret code to learning how to do this is pass the bright red ketchup. I know it sounds a little weird, but basically what we're going to do is on the word pass we're going to do both hands at the same time. So it's pass nice and slow. I'm going to switch hands and do four on this hand now. Pass, right, red, touch it. 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 So switching hands can be a little bit trickier. In fact, you know, it's kind of hard to hear the difference between these two drums. I'm going to put this cowbell up here. See if we can't make this a little easier to hear. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do the four on this side and the three on this side. Let's hear it one more time. So, now I'm going to switch it and do the four on this side. Whoops, I messed that one up. <laughs> anyway, it's tricky um, and it takes some practice, but. You can speed it up, you can slow it down. Um, the thing that, if you take this and look at the video that we did with the two against three and match it with the three against four, you can do some pretty cool combinations. I'm gonna keep three right here the whole time, but I'm gonna do two and then four with this hand. So I'm combining the two that we just did. Three will stay here. See if I can do this. See how I do that? I just kept the three steady here, and this changed from two to four. You'll get it. Keep practicing. <laughs> I know this can be a little bit tricky, but it's a lot of fun. And uh, make sure you get your parents' permission if you want to use pots and pans or anything around the house that normally isn't something you hit. Um, but if you have any questions about this, please let me know. I'll be around the school and would love to share some more information with you. Take care.